Guten Nacht, meine sehr gute Freundes. Welcome to Crypto Comics, German edition. I just got this package in the mail. This is a book that I ordered from Indiegogo. Yeah, I know what some of you out there are thinking, but believe it or not, there actually are some comic book creators who do deliver on time, who do deliver what they promise. And I wanted to show you that that's true, that that exists. Believe it or not, this book got to me all the way from Germany before half of the comic books I have ordered in the United States have arrived. And I'm not impressed by that comics gate, not at all. But let me show you something that is impressive. These two comic books are extremely impressive. Uh, they're books, you know, this is, a, this is one of those artists, much like Doug Tenaple from Earthworm Jim and Bigfoot Bill. This is an artist who goes above and beyond the line of duty to provide a product that is second to none. Elector Fencer is the artist of this tremendous book. WireaChronicles.com. Check it out. WireaChronicles.com. You can follow Elector Fencer on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and two other things I'm not familiar with. So I ordered both of these. It was off of a campaign for this, which is Haunter of Dreams. She happened to be selling her first book, Meyer, Chronicles of Wairia, Volume 1. Her name is Claudia, Claudia Schmidt. She goes by Elector Fencer. Let me tell you about this book. Since the beginning of time, people living on Wairia have passed lores from generation to generation. It's a world where stories and tales are constantly created and bear a meaningful part in the life of every Wairian. A small boy is thrust on a vastly colorful and deep journey through beauty and horror. With only his bravery and dedication, he moves beyond what terrors await beneath his imagination. Follow him down into the abyss deeper than anything, and unravel the secret of what moves him to embark on a journey which only a dreamer might be able to experience. So we're going to just pop this bad boy open. We'll come back to that one. Let me just give you a little taste of what Claudia creates here because it's amazing. And signed. The stars, they say, are spattered sun paint flung from a brush across the horizon. The stars, they say, are dreams of children glittering in the hours before the rising. Sun paint, night paint. Fleck a child's cheek, asleep below, awake within, a word without a melody in the quiet, in the hope those dream flecks might lead little cotton feet, light and joyous on the wondrous paths unmarked, unplanned, and under hands meant for mightier things than swords. Falling, falling, the fabrics of a dream, a symphony of memory and future that no longer seems ineffable. Formations, tenebrous, endlessly unkind. A dreamer's journey, a path to find. Now you're seeing why I bought this book. It's because it's got furries in it, and I love furries. <laughs> Is this not stunning? I bought this because I wanted to share it with the children in my family. But of course, because it's from a European, I have to, you know, check it out first and make sure that it meets with my approval as someone who cares about the children, because Europeans are a little different than Americans. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, have you seen artistry as beautiful as this before? Methinks you haven't. So this is it. This is a beautiful book. Not heavy on dialogue, which is fine by me because the word, the pictures, the paintings tell the story. But let us, let us continue on, shall we, my finely feathered friends? To Meyer, Chronicles of Wairia. These books are huge. Have a good ride. This, our oldest legend, has been carried in the hearts and minds of our sages 
since the birth of our tribe. Passed from the eldest to the youngest, generation to generation, each is given the story in turn and carries it with them, until they too pass it on to the next. And now the world is in a new age, and it is your time to sit and listen, so that one day you might sit as I sit and speak as I speak. Long ago, when all was verdant and alive, there lived a race of people who were as old and as wise as the lands in which they lived. They were the children of the Yildusian, the dragons of old, and they lived in peace when Wyria was vast and green. But in the shadow of the Yildusians, they became jealous, wanting their knowledge and power for themselves. And in secret, they stole away the life force of the dragons of old in hopes that they would covet their greatness. The children became frightened and sent vast armies to drive their creators from their lands and villages, shattering a thousand years of harmony. The Yildusians cursed their children, casting them from their sight, and set Wyria ablaze in search for what had been stolen from them, leaving Wyria ashen and desolate. Desperate for the precious treasure, the Yildusians searched the land. Alas, their heart was never found, and to this day, the Yildasians sleep, waiting for what has been taken from them to be returned amidst the dust and silence. Who will carry on seeking for what we almost forgot? Who will begin the journey that will restore the life of Wyria? It was her. No, it wasn't unusual in those days to see a figure appearing from the dusts, eyes baked from the heat and half crazy from starvation. It wasn't suspicious. It happened all the time. Some of them wandered into town just to die. When there are eyes on your death, you don't feel like you're dying alone. But that isn't why she came. Rolling a smoke. Down there, Varug. You did not see the true? My old eyes have seen more than I care to remember, but never anything like her. You know, a great story is easily identifiable by the fact that you can strip the words away and still understand exactly what's happening. Steven Spielberg says that that's the best way to tell who the great filmmakers are. Turn the volume down on your television and see if you can follow the plot. I am looking forward to reading this over the course of the next few days because it sure looks like something magical to share with the children and my family. And perhaps you'll find it suitable for the children in your own. Because Claudia has made an incredibly compelling work of art here. And I don't know if you can find another book on Indiegogo to rival it. And I'm not going to spoil it for you or for myself. But I want you to realize, despite the disenchantment you might have over a lot of Comicscape books that have not been delivered about grifting that has occurred and lies that have been told. Know that there are still creators out there who will do right by you. Just like Claudia Schmidt, Elector Fencer, has done right by me with these two books. So get to know your creators. Make sure that they're in this because they have a passion for telling stories, not a passion for tricking people out of money by selling stories that they're never actually going to tell. They do exist. I am one of them. Claudia is another. Doug Tenapel is another. Doug Garrett is another. Nasser Rabadi is another. There are many of us out there, and we can't always be found through a popularity contest, 
or what's recommended to you on YouTube. But we do exist, and we do want to continue to share our stories with each and every one of you. So I entreat you to stick around Crypto Comics and to discover some of the other less known creators within our galaxy, because there are many, many stories that have yet to be told and that your ears have yet to hear. As always, thanks for watching Crypto Comics. Please click that share button and let your friends know that there are honorable creators left in the world. And I will see you again right back here in the very near future on Crypto Comics.